Hey yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Game Today's back on the Cosmic server for another episode. I'm pretty sure this is episode 8. Now, in this episode... Now, in this episode, I want to do a lot of things with the base build, but before we did that, we went to check on our quartz shop. We got nine diamonds. They're somewhere in here, probably in this one. And then we also did some work for Dr. Ravenholm, which you're about to see in the time lapse, uh, the time -lapse chat. Let's get into it. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost Now that you've seen that, there has been a couple upgrades to the base. After the end event, I did go busting and got some of these. I got almost half, actually over half, of a shulker box full of end rods for lighting and projects soon. I want to finish that this episode, and I also got some chorus plants growing. Now, what I really want to do is finish off builds like this, and I have a good idea for one that I want to do. But I also have some lore for the town. So I think episode 25 or 50 for that special episode of Cosmic, I will be doing just basically a lore video of the town. Just because I think things could be really cool if you add lore to your stories. So let's get into what I want to do, which is go get some leather and make some bookshelves. Man, this has been producing off the charts. Really appreciate this zero tick sugarcane farm that I've built. So, I went and spent 13 diamonds on 13 stacks of freaking stuffs. And it's all over here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Take the rest of this. Oh, shoot. Forgot that they do that. So I'm going to distribute this into different shulkers. 
just to see how many books we're able to make. Hopefully it's enough for what I need. We can make about 6, 12, 13 stacks of books once I get everything together. So 1, 2, 3, and more paper is required. Let's get the bookshelves actually made though. I'm tired of boring you guys with this. Okay, we have enough books left over. We just don't have the wood for it. But I did get a stack in 16, so what I'm going to do is use my first end rod in the entire game. I'm going to hang them from the ceiling right past where the books start to come out. So, jump up, place, place, and place. And then over here, once I get this all sorted out, that'll be where the rest of them go. But hopefully... I can do something like this, yeah, and have it coming along the ground as well. Oh, oh yes, yes, this is looking mighty fine. Mighty fine indeed. Okay, so going up here, I normally just put the, do I have silk touch on me? Let's go! I normally cover the whole back wall, back wall up. Je oh wait, I can do that. Haha. <laughs> and then I just go out from there. So I'm actually going to take it out like that, and then I'm going to come in like that, and I'm going to take this one out and this one and this one just so I can collect the other ones so what I'm gonna do now do I have any other I do have blocks in the shulker there was wood in the shulker I knew I had more wood I just didn't know where it was how fantastic of me to lose it and then take that and then there's like a little bit of a curve in it work with I think that goes too far out I think I need to bring the curve in more to right here so like right here for the curve so it's gonna be like a sharp curve but let me get this all worked out with all that I have and we'll come back and see how I did everything has been done it's done and dusted and this is the final product except for the shulker box of course i forgot to remove that Boop. but this is the monster that i'm thinking is going to infest our poor village and i've been thinking about the lore of the village for quite a while like of all of today and the way I want to do this is I want to build the whole village. Everything's there, everything's good, everything's dandy. But things get bad pretty quick. So if you have any ideas about what to add to make it seem like that, go down to the comments and tell me. But I want to get on with today's build, which is going to require some cobblestone and some wood and then some smooth stone as well. So let me grab that, grab the slabs, the staircase. I wanna use everything we already have. And I could have made an ender chest, I didn't have to ask him for one freaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all out of the uh, busted up storages that we have. I heard an enderman, endermean. Okay, that seems like a good amount. I'm going to put the books in here for when we need more of them. Because I might build multiple of these around the server. Who knows? But let's get on with today's build and time lapse. And tell me what you think it is down in the comments. I really want to see your guys' guesses. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend, for it's our last refrain.
Okay, guys, we're here around the back of the mountain, and we don't really have a place for the path to lead to. That'll be coming on later. Well, that looks cool. We might have to make something over there as well. But there's nothing for this path I'm making to the new building to lead to. As you can see up here, I'm going to make a path with these blocks that's just going to show you the way to the steps of the church that I've made here on the server. Now this is the village's church that they would come to almost every day to pray. And if you guys know ways to keep the snow off of this ground right here, please tell me down in the description, the comments. But you got little slab pathway up here for you to like not have to jump on and then you have the inside of the church which I'm gonna quickly get rid of all the snow in here just so they don't have any unwanted snowage but this is the church I'm having trouble with the interior so any of you interior decorators out there please comment down below what you would put in there or hit me up on Twitter it will be in the description but that was the build that I wanted to do today was the church and if we go away after like 40 rocket launches 
you can see that it looks pretty good except for the back of it looks a little uh, artificial so I'm gonna go around at, off the camera and I'm gonna make that in uh, make a thing on there like I did with the other side might have to move the path a little bit going more downwards towards that mountain there but I think next episode I want to work on the centerpiece of the town like the town square the central point of everything and it's not gonna be down there that's just my workstation that's gonna be where the infection spread from I'm trying to make it over near that lake right there and that'll be the central point we can build buildings over there like a shopping district houses up here finish the house over there off camera and then I can go over here and build like the ma the mayor or the president or the Jarl's uh, long house over there. This is going to be a really good build because of the amount of lore that I'm coming up with for it. And I just can't wait for all of this to come together and look amazing. I can't wait to have the best base on the server. Or at least the most loreful. People will have more farms and bigger builds than me. And I can't wait to see what I've done for Dr. Ravenholm come out into a big, big build. Thanks for you so, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, smash a like. It's always appreciated. Give me, tell me down in the comments what you want me to build next. I'm thinking of working on a fountain for the town central. But if you find something else interesting, please tell me down in the comments. Please subscribe if you're new. We have a giveaway coming at 500 subscribers. And I do hope to see you in the next one really soon. Peace.